Alright, hello football gamers, welcome back to Madden Football Gaming. Today, I'm going to be going over who I think is going to be getting a card in rounds 2 and 3 of this most feared promo. Uh, as you can see, obviously, we already got Ed Reed, we got Derrick Henry, we even pulled Travis Kelsey um, in those re-rolls, which is a super sick pull. But um, And there's some other good uh, cards out there in most feared right now. Uh, but what we're going to go over is kind of how to make coins off of uh, um, some players that are going to be coming out in the future and who we think those players are going to be. First, um, I want to say DK Medcalf. So DK Medcalf has an 83 overall. He's a great player. I think it's the perfect time. He is one of the most feared receivers in the league, and he's going to have great speed um, if he does come out, and I think that that's something that uh, – um, he definitely will get. So DK Metcalf, I think, is one. And the reason I'm bringing this up is if you buy their their core elites now, you should be able to sell them for more later if, in fact, they do come out. And he's going to get another card, and when he does, it's going to be great. So it's a low risk, even if he doesn't get one in this two or three round most feared, which I do believe, I, I do think that he's going to. Um, then whenever he does uh, in these upcoming promos like Blitz or whatever, um, it still will make you a ton of coins, so it's good to invest in this now. Jair Alexander. So Jair uh, is one of the fastest um, corners in the game, and he got one last year just like Kelsey did, just like Henry did, and he hasn't got one yet, and his highest overall is an 87, so I think he is also. And the reason that people are going to want him is because he's a super fast cornerback. People always want super fast cornerbacks, especially if they're on good theme teams, and uh, Green Bay does have one. So DK Metcalf, Jair Alexander, those are two. But now we're going to go down into more here. All right, and so the next one I want to say is Mark Andrews. Mark Andrews' card, last card, is an 84 overall. And he's been balling out, uh, as usual, um, on uh, uh, on the Ravens. And he's got 81 speed, to 6'5", 250. I think his card's going to be decently fast, especially for a tight end. And uh, uh, I think he's going to be a really good card. So I think he's going to be coming out uh, soon too. So good to invest in that elite as well. I wouldn't invest in power-ups just because there's a lot. I think there's a lot of power-ups that, um, or I'm sorry, when they get a new master, they the set comes with the power-up. So this is the best way, I think, to make coins. As you can see here, here's some more DK Medcalfs I've invested in. Next one is Terry McLaurin. 86 overall, and last year he got a, uh, a most feared card. I think he's going to get another one. He's going to be one of the fastest receivers in the game. With his attributes for an 86, he's an 88 speed. He's 6 feet. Last year his card played really well. I wouldn't be surprised if he get him uh, in round 2 or 3 as well. And then Henry Ruggs is a sleeper. He got a most feared card, but he got a lower most feared card last year. And uh, if you're talking about scary speed, though, this, this is your guy. Henry Ruggs is super quick. He's got 90 speed right now for an 82 overall card. I think that this is something that uh, uh, if they do even give like an 88 card to, he, he's going to be he's gonna be flying. He's going to be like 93, 94 speed, something like that. So I invested in him as well. Justin Herbert. Justin Herbert is one that I picked up, uh, as you can see, because I think he's also going to get a most feared card. Uh, he's just due. If he doesn't get a most feared card, I mean, they got to be releasing him soon because he is just due and he is balling. He's got 84 overall as his highest card. We got to get some Gunslinger on him or Hot Route Master or something because he is really, really good. So hopefully he gets a Master as well. So th those are some of the major cards. I have Brandon Cooks. I just picked up one of his just in case they do like a, um, a scary fast that he's part of uh, as well. But those are some of the major cards that I feel like they're going to get upgraded. Now, there's some that I didn't invest in just because I feel like they're too high priced, right? So we talked about Jair, we talked about Henry Ruggs, we talked about Terry McLaurin, we talked about Mark Andrews, and we talked about DK Metcalf. Those are ones that I think, and Justin Herbert, those are ones that I think that are going to get an upgrade. We can invest in now, and you should be able to... Uh, make some coins off of them. One thing I will say about Justin Herbert is that he gets that um, uh, that team promo, and so you can put in like elites and golds to get this 84. So his 84 may not jump up as much. It's got a little bit of a 
people could build it if they wanted to. So, but Medcalf and McLaurin and Rugs, they really couldn't. Uh, same thing with Andrews, they really couldn't. So um, Herbert, I stopped investing in this, um, but I, I kept on investing in Medcalf and Andrews and Herbert and Jair. Uh, because I think they're going to get one. But ones that I did not invest in that I think will also get um, upgrades um, is Khalil Mack, Aaron Donald. Um, those are two that usually they're super strong players most fear. They usually get that. So um, if, you, if you have a theme team or if you really like playing with those cards, Khalil Mack or Aaron Donald, feel free to pick them up. I didn't invest in them just because they're already expensive. And I'm trying to make the most coins that I can um, without investing a ton. So that's why I'm picking up these players. But that's something to think of as well. And then for legends or older players, you know what? I, I think Ray Lewis almost always gets something around this time. And he makes sense. He got one last year. But that doesn't really stop EA from putting the same players in sometimes when they, when they want to. So it could be, um, could be Ray Lewis. But who I think is sneaky right here would be Peyton Manning. Um, Peyton Manning possibly getting a card. He did, I think two years ago, get a card. Um, and he we already know he's in the game because he got in one of the releases. So Peyton Manning may be a, um, some some player that might come out as well. Um, if not, maybe one of these other, other uh, newer uh, coming promos. But I think those are two uh, legends to look out for as well. Not a lot of, to, you could really do to prepare for that. Um, but just FYI. So those are my predictions. So here they are again. Jair Alexander, Khalil Mack, Henry Ruggs, Terry McLaurin, Mark Andrews, Aaron Donald, DK Metcalf, Justin Herbert, and either Ray Lewis or Peyton Manning, I think, is one of the legends. Anyways, I hope this helps you out. What I would suggest, you invest in these, um, in these cards right now when they're cheap. Right now, 22000 for DK. I think it could go up to 40 or 50k, right? Uh, Jair, I paid uh, a little bit more for him. I paid, yeah, 40, 40, 42. Uh, that was 47, but I think I paid 40, 42. But I would still pay 47, and I think it could go up to 90, right, or or 100 or something like that. Especially when they first get announced. As soon as they get announced, the price is going to skyrocket. And if you're trying to make coins, sell them. If you want the player, hold on to him, and you can power up or whatever. But if you want the coins, sell them. Um, and uh, uh, take the profit. But anyways, I hope this helped you out. If it did, please do like and subscribe. We'll bring more content like this in the future. Uh, but as always, thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a great day.